हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल यू आई निंजा सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सेलेक्टर सो सी एस सेलेक्टर्स आर डिवाइडेड इनटू फाइव कैटेगरीज फर्स्ट इज सिंपल सेलेक्टर इट इज़ यूज्ड टू सेलेक्ट एलिमेंट बेस्ड ऑन द नेम आई क्लास एंड नेक्स्ट इज कॉम्बिनेटर सेलेक्टर इट इज़ यूज टू सेलेक्ट एलिमेंट्स बेस्ड ऑन अ स्पेसिफिक रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन दैम and next is pseudo class selector it is used to select elements based on a certain state next pseudo element selectors it is used to select and style a part of an element next is attribute selector it is used to select elements based on an attribute or attribute value all these selectors are used in css but in this video we will define simple selector so first is simple selector css id selector first is id selector so how to use it the id selector uses the id attribute of an html tag to select specific element the id of an element is unique within a page so id selector can be used to select one unique element to select an element with a specific id we need to write a hash character then id name of the element example the css id selector applied to the html element with id equals to name of the id is select one so hash then id next is css class selector the css class selector selects html element with a specific class attribute to select element with a specific class we need to write a dot followed by the class name we have a restriction that a class name can't should be start with a number so example is all html elements with class format color will be red and font size is 20 px so here is a format is a class and this is a property and its values you can also specify that only specific html element should be impacted by the class example is p dot format dot format is a class and font value and color is a property and its value in this example only p element with class format will be red and font size will be 20 px a html element can have more than one class example is we can use here two classes format and greater all the attributes property and its value of the format and greater class apply to the paragraph tag so next is css universal selector the universal selector selects all elements on the page example is the css rule will affect every html element on the page so we can use star character for universal selector and in between that we add property and its value next is css grouping selector the grouping selector selects all the html elements with the same style definition so see the for p and h1 element have the same style definition p and h1 property and its value are same so we can group that it will be better to group the selector to reduce the code to group selector separate each selector with a comma example is we can add both h1 and p in single line in this example we have grouped the selector 
so we can take one example of all these selectors so first we open the sublime text editor we can add all the selectors in the style tag so we use style tag here in between that we use selectors so first we use here is id selector id selector use the hash and its id name in between that we add color red and we can add multiple property and its values like text align text center text decoration all these are used for formatting and here we add p tag in between that we use id tag and id selector and its name is select so save this file and see the result on the browser window this this content shows the red color and underline because we will add this on our code color red align center and text decoration is underlined so next we use class selector class selector used with dot and name is format here we add color color is blue and we can add all these properties in the class selector and in place of id we add class class is format so save this file and see the result on the browser window see paragraph tag uses a class and next we go to the code and we add multiple classes like we add one more class here and we use font size 30 and here we add greater class also both classes are used in the p tag so see the result on the browser window see font size are changes and color is blue and text decoration is in underline so go to the code and next we use universal selector universal selector use with star symbol and here we add only color is equal and here we add one more tag that is h1 heading tag and close this i will remove this class and all that so 
save this file and see the result on the browser window of the universal selector all this text are in equal color because we add in the in our code universal selector color is equal so next we add group selector like we add p and comma h1 in between that we use color is green so save this file and see the result on the browser window all the text are in green color because we add in our code h1 and p tag used a green color because we use here group selector so one more thing if you want to debug something on the web page then you can do it by inspect element option here you can see here your web page window by debugging the css so see we can select this part and inspect this element to see the result here we add a green color so we can debug from there we can add blue color so that are in blue color so we can debug from there thank you if you like this video so please like share and comment and subscribe my youtube channel in next video we will discuss about different types of style sheet to add css thank you